Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Libra. So Libra, cross watcher, please try to use the energy in this reading in a helpful, positive manner. Or leave it where it is. Now, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Libra, please. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Libra. Libra energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, here we go, Libra. Divine Headquarter Oracles up first for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Ancestral Protection Shield. So you are highly protected in the spirit realm. Somebody's got some kind of devil energy around you, so be careful. There could be toxic people around you that are greedy or selfish or stuck on drugs or want some kind of control over you. You're protected. You're divinely protected. Just know who they are. Somebody might want some money from you. Here you go. You have a new beginning starting. Beautiful energy. Okay. You passed the spiritual test. This is why you're protected by the ancestors and whatever negative, toxic, devil energy that's around you. Good. Go burn in hell somewhere because it's not going to work. Now, let's get you. Look at this beautiful new beginning. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Here we go. Libra, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And listen, if you do not know your chart, I tell you all the time, please go over to a place like Cafe Astrology where it's free. They print out everything. They tell you what it means. And what you do need to know is where you were born in the time of birth for it to be accurate. All right. So let's see. You could be resonating in any one of your planetary placements at any time, right? You're not always resonating in your sun sign. So let's see what we're doing here. Libra, please and thank you, ancestors. All right. Libra, you have... Libra, you got a new passionate beginning here. It's an ace of cups, some kind of new love, new intimacy, the new opportunity for it. We like it, okay? The ace of cups. So I'm going to get a new relationship here. Seven of pentacles. The idea here is to be patient. You might have planted some seeds, seeds of love, or some kind of uh, emotions somewhere. They're germinating. Guys, okay? so you got to wait. It's a pain in the ass. I hate to wait. But, you know, everything really is in divine timing. So, you have this new beginning. It's in love. Just patiently wait. It's coming. It's right here. It's almost it's almost completely to fruition. Because how many more flowers could grow on that tree, right? Before she has to pick them off. There you go. Something about yellow butterflies or cabbage butterflies. Now, yeah, here you go. At the foundation of the situation, somebody took a, a time out. To uh, figure things out. Different points of view. Different ways around things. What they really wanted in life. It's the hangman. Maybe somebody felt like they were, you know, their hands were tied. Or they were trapped. Maybe somebody just was uncertain of a direction. You know what I mean? There might have been some things that you needed to release and let go of. So you took a time out to figure that out. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's good. Now. So now you're at this new Ace of Cups here. What's crowning Libra? Libra. What's crowning Libra? Libra crowning you? Well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, somebody's about to be straightforward and direct and articulate themselves. This person might have some kind of a skill or, you know, they can be very ambitious. This person's opinionated. This person has no problem articulating themselves, like I said. I'm getting like, um, I'm getting like highly protected here. Like there's white, listen, nobody's going to fly around on a feather unless they're pretty sure they're going to, not going to fall off. Something about pine trees. I'm seeing a big storm, like big storm clouds. Here you go. Whoa! Listen, did you see that? All right, here comes the King of Swords, Libra. Now, either this is you, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, in your power with some kind of higher perspective, or this is somebody coming in to articulate themselves like a knight to you that has air in their chart as well, and they're going to tell you about they have some kind of feelings for you, or you're going to tell them that you have some, because now, you know, the Seven of Pentacles, what did I tell you? How many more pieces of fruit or apples could you, something about apples, somebody slicing apples? How much more could you put on this tree? This tree, you know, looks like a bonsai. It's about the time that you trim it. Trim it, trim it, and trim it. Okay. Everybody needs to go trim their bushes in summer. Time to trim. Anyway, listen. This person has some kind of a, a higher perspective. This person is very honest. This person has no problem telling you how they feel. They're disciplined, clear thinking, and of a higher intellect. Like, this person is really intelligent, Okay. This person took a time out, actually, to figure out what they wanted. That somebody's waiting patiently here for love. 
Let me show you how you are looking at this. How are you looking at this in your mind's eye, in the back of your head, in your pineal glands? How are you perceiving this King of Swords? Whether this is you or somebody else. Ooh, like somebody's being strong. Okay. <laughs> so, you're looking at this person like they're, they're strong. They don't have any self-doubt. They're brave. They're confident. They have a lot of self-control. They have boundaries. It's Leo energy. Also, like this could be some kind of unconditional love. The eighth could be of significance. Yeah. Somebody could be 37 or 38 or 73 or 78. Anyway, you're looking at this like this. It took a lot of strength for this person. Whether this is you that needed the strength and it took a lot of strength for you to do this. Or for this person that wants to come in and say something to you. You know, it was a brave thing to do. That's nice. Okay, so what's in the actual environment? It's always good to be brave and face your fears. Because once you do that, you have nothing to be afraid for anymore. You go like this, you go, that's what I was afraid of? Like, that's ridiculous. Face everything and rise. Or face everything and run. We rise. With strength and conviction and bravery and self-confidence. Now, <clears throat> in your actual environment. Oh, so listen. This could be somebody from the past. Like when you were a child or something. Uh, Six of Cups. Yeah, you might be feeling sentimental or nostalgic. Somebody else might be. But this is people, places, and things of the past resurfacing. Are we going into another retrograde? I know it's not Mercury. I think we're going into another retrograde any minute now. So, yeah, you know, somebody from the past might be resurfacing that wants to say something to you. They're going to come in brave and straightforward and direct. You're looking at them like, you know, this is taking a lot of um, confidence and bravery to do this. Now, I will tell you, somebody did take a time out to think about this. So this could be, obviously, this could be you going out to articulate yourself to somebody. It's taking a lot of strength. You know this. It could be somebody from your past that you want to say something to. You have this ace of cups. Show me. Show me. Okay, here you go. Now. Over here. Whoa, look at that. The Hierophant. Okay, so there could be some kind of knowledge sharing here. This is Taurus energy. The fifth. Somebody could be 65 here. Yeah, 11. That reduces to two. Here's the thing. There might be some, like, traditional dating. Somebody wants to do something in, uh, in an old-fashioned kind of sense. Um, somebody might, you know, this is about conformity. Maybe somebody wants to get married here. Like that. Uh, you know, contractual obligations. Learning. Teaching. Going by the rules and regulations or the norms of what society expects. So there's going to be some traditional dating. Somebody might want to come in and tell you that they really have feelings for you. Deep emotions. I'm hearing deep emotions. And they might want to start dating traditionally. It could lead to marriage. This could be somebody from your past that it took like all the courage in the world. Show me what the most likely best outcome for Libra is the Ace of Pentacles. Libra, jump on this shit. Okay, when this comes in, take... Oh, there goes... The, listen. Ah, there goes my hand. It's not itching. It's mad pins and needles just in this portion. I don't know what that is. Look, Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity for some deep-rooted success. This is, you know, abundance. This is prosperity. This is laying the groundwork for some kind of long-term foundation where it's going to turn into the Ten of Pentacles. And, and the Ten of Pentacles, I tell you all the time, Libra... It is the Disney fairy tale because not only it's about like some kind of financial foundation where you're solid and you don't have to worry about paying the bills or feeding the kids or keeping the lights on, but there's love and there's love. I'm, you know, yeah, it's emotions. There's emotions attached to this. So you have a beautiful new beginning that's solid and long lasting. Oh, there's a Queen of Wands, Aries energy. This somebody could be in your social group. Oh, somebody's got Aries and Leo. This is going to happen over the summer, perhaps by cancer season. Somebody's got a goal to focus. They're going to come in and make a solid offer. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. You got Aquarius energy for the star. Hope for your future healing. Like I said, come on. Ah, shit, man. I can't believe this much. You could be dealing with somebody that has Aries in their chart. Maybe you do. But this is somebody who's bold, assertive, confident. They're going to take some kind of action. This is a leader. This could be an entrepreneur. And this, this divine feminine could be very intimidating. This is somebody that's in your social circle or your community. Something like this, okay? This could be happening over the summer. Something's going to be illuminated to you. You're going to be so freaking happy. It's the sun, okay? It's positivity, joy, success, love. Somebody's got to go and focus. They're going to overcome any obstacle to get to it, okay? There's somebody that's a knight of pentacles here, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Somebody's slowly building something methodically, whether this is you or them. It also is a goal and focus about putting effort into something. Somebody's going to put the work in. Somebody needs to walk away from the past, whatever the fuck that was. It doesn't even matter. People, places, and things from the past. We got 888, 888, megahertz, 888 hertz. 
Let's remove the negativity, Libra. Playing for the sound bath for your healing enjoyment in the background. Uh, we're working on our third eye chakra. It's located right in the middle of your forehead there, right? I got it set at 448 megahertz. 448 hertz. Intuition, clarity, awareness, and understanding. The element is light, okay? The mantra is I see, I see, and the color is indigo. That's that dark purplish blue around the outside of the amulet, okay? It's for intuition, understanding, self-awareness, and clarity. And it's any, okay, you can do lapis lazuli, you can do amethyst, maybe some blue agate, something like this. So, Sagittarius energy now. Good luck, good karma, decisions that are going to change the fate of your destiny. It's a turning point in your luck. The 10th to be of significance. Yeah, okay. Here. It's hope for your future. It's a gift from the divine. It's healing. It's a reunion. It's love. It's miracles. If only you believe like I believe, baby, like I believe. In miracles, we get by because we're going to get this Ten of Cups emotional fulfillment, okay? So I'm telling you, happiness, contentment, harmony, family. There's the King of Wands coming in to take the action. It's the King to the Queen. Boom. Boom. This is going to be illuminated to you. Look, they're looking at each other. It's love from up above already. There's the Ace of Cups. Happiness, Four of Wands, stability. Yeah, somebody's coming in. I'm telling you, unless you know you're going out, that's it. That's it. I'm not going any further. It's a soulmate. It's love. It's going to be, you know, a, a solid foundation. A lot of emotion. I don't know what that is, but all right. Now, let's see. We're going to get you some kippers. I told you the signs, right? Yeah. we got Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Cancer. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Pisces. Here we go. Show me. The kippers for Libra, please, and thank you. Libra, great hope. Some of you need to go down by the water somewhere. Maybe go put your feet in a lake or a beach or a pond or just make sure it's not a dirty puddle. Ha, ha, ha. There's all kinds of shit in there. Somebody can be 63 years old here. I don't give a shit how old you are, all right? 17 reduces, uh, yeah, to 8. Somebody might be in their 80s, all right? And still finds in love. It doesn't matter, right? So, here we go. Look, it's a big win. It's a big win. Now, obviously, you know, yeah, cha-ching, cha-ching, it could be money with this Ace of Pentacles. It could be. But it's also, you know, a big win is love, just getting love. This is going to give you a lot of hope. Something about pastel colors. Somebody might be eating oatmeal. Oatmeal? Why would I get oatmeal? Yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody likes oatmeal. God bless you. I mean, I don't know how to make it. I, even at my late age, I don't think I've ever cooked it. Okay, here you go. Somebody might get some sad news here. 14th in May. Somebody might get some sad news in May. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, too bad. It might be about somebody else. Like, you might just hear something sad about somebody else. And, uh, oh, somebody, okay. So somebody could be going on some kind of a trip. Uh, it could be a weekend trip, a day trip. Maybe going to see somebody. Somebody's coming to see you to talk about something here. <laughs> talk about love and passion and emotions and new beginnings. Let's see. Here we go. Somebody's full of sorrow. Whatever sad news this is. Oh, it could be because somebody stole something. Well, yeah. That would make anybody sad. Somebody give me 42 or 45. Over here, somebody's going on a trip that's going to give them a lot of hope. It's going to be a big win. Whether it's financially, emotionally, spiritually, whatever it is. You're going to find your soulmate there. Okay, somebody's got gloomy thoughts. Oh, well, it's a long trip. But you know what? Oh, well, somebody's getting married. What am I telling you? Am I telling you this? You might just go down to the court to do it. It may not be like... Some big wedding with white dresses and whatnot, which is, you know. Maybe you're going to spend your money on a house instead. Here's some hit, hit droogs. You, them, anybody, nobody opens their mouth. So, I know I was a distraction from your pain. There's something going on with the animals in the other room. It's bugging me out. I want you. Here comes Tiberius, the troublemaker. Anyways, maybe that's what somebody's going to come and tell you. They want, they want, and I want you to want me to. Marvin Gaye, we will be together again. So when I tell you somebody from the past is going to come back around to tell you something, all right? I'm starting to understand our connection. So there's that. Now, these are a couple of moon phases, or perhaps other astrological signs that you need to be aware of, please. So let's see. Libra, Libra. Tiberius, what are you doing? You're like up to something here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got to stop the camera. Guys, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Table got out. Tiberius, stop. Okay, we have a we have a thing. Bye, bye. I love you guys. Bye.